As the weather begins to change and new seasons arrive, more residents may be thinking about hitting the water. According to the CDC, every year in the United States, close to 4,000 people die by drowning. Our ET News reporter Shreve De King has more. Before boarding a boat, it's important to get certified to assure safety for you and other passengers. They should have boater safety course that's approved. Making sure your health is intact is vital before operating a boat. If you're not in the condition where you should be operating a motor vehicle, don't go out in the boat. Grace says keeping safety tools nearby is a must. You should have a first aid kit and a throwaway flotation device that can be attached to a rope. A plan is always needed when sailing along the water. Make sure that this plan is in writing and somebody that's not going on the trip has it and they know the time you're going to leave and where you're going to come out and what time you should be reporting in that you're out of the water or what time you're going to be home. The Shemong River friends say, wear a life jacket. Always, always wear your life jacket and bring a friend. Marino suggests that when you're on a boat, to remain aware of your surroundings. You want to be able to easily move out of, out of any situation. That's why it's always good to have your paddle, always have your life jacket on correctly, have a whistle on your life jacket as well, like I said, in case you get separated or you need to alert um, somebody that's with you. Officials say you should check the water levels before going out onto the water using a thermometer. Reporting in Elmira, Sharif D. King, 18 News.